In today's tutorial, we're taking coding collaboration to the next level by incorporating ChatGPT into Xcode. Imagine having an AI-powered assistant right at your fingertips as you code. I'll guide you through the seamless integration process from setting up the environment to leveraging ChatGPT's natural language understanding within Xcode. Whether you're looking for a code suggestions, debugging tips, or just some programming banter, ChatGPT has got you covered. Get ready to enhance your coding journey and turn Xcode into a dynamic, conversational workplace. Let's dive in and unlock the potential of ChatGPT for a more interactive and efficient coding experience. And if you want to escape tutorial hell, ask a senior Swift UI developer, me. Go ahead and check out rebeloper.com slash mentoring where you can book a call with me. Now, today we are going to talk about how to add ChatGPT into Xcode. Now, I'm not meaning that you open up uh, the web browser and just ask questions to ChatGPT. No, I'm talking about adding it right into Xcode. Uh, therefore, it can uh, take a look at your code, have great code suggestions, and uh, this will be so, so amazing. Okay, so uh, what you want to do is just, uh, first of all, uh, let's go ahead and see how we are going to add it because Xcode doesn't really, like, actually, it's actually not supporting anything uh, uh, just like that. Therefore, we need to add uh, this GitHub library. So let's just go and search for Copilot for Xcode. And uh, yes, I know it's, GitHub Copilot for Xcode. Uh, and again, I'm uh, take a look at the link uh, where you can find it. It's Copilot for Xcode. We are not going to use the Copilot uh, uh, part of this for this tutorial. We are instead interested in adding only Chat GPT to your Xcode project. If you are interested in how to add Copilot for Xcode, uh, go ahead and check out uh, the previous video in this playlist. It will be in the cards uh, right over here and also at the end of uh, this video as a card. Now, uh, we are right over here and what we want to do is actually just scroll over there, here down and we want to manually install it. So uh, let's uh, go to the releases. Let's open this up in a new tab. And as you can see, here we have it. Uh, it's really updated. Uh, and uh, let's click over here, download the zip file. It will just extract it and put it into your downloads. But what we need to actually do is add it to your applications folder. So let's drag and drop that right over there. Great. So now that we have that, uh, I believe the next step is to just uh, simply open it up. Yes, open the app uh, and uh, the app will create a launch agent to set up a background running service that does the actual real job. So yes, let's double click on Copilot for Xcode. And by the way, really cool icon over there. Let's open it. Uh, let's automatically download and install updates check automatically. I always uh, want to check that, so uh, I'm not going to get bothered with it. Okay, so this is what we are presented, Copilot for Xcode. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's enable the extension in System Settings app. So what we want to do is uh, open up uh, the extension settings, so extension settings. So we are going to be taken right over here. By the way, it's under Privacy and Security just go a little bit down and extensions and just uh, select Xcode source editor and uh, just take this copilot uh, right over here. Uh, never mind this one. I'm just working on this currently. So let's click on done. Okay, that's uh, uh, done. And uh, next up, we want to set up the permissions for the app. So uh, let's go back to the app again and uh, we want to reveal the extension service in Finder. There we go, we have uh, that. And then what we want to do is just go to uh, privacy and security uh, and accessibility. Let's just uh, go back to our system uh, settings and then just go privacy and security. And then uh, uh, we want to search for accessibility. There we go. And uh, yeah, it's already right over here. If it weren't right over here, you just want to drag and drop it into uh, here from the finder that we just revealed. So uh, good for us. We just want to allow that right over there. Great. So uh, what's the next step? Yes, 
setting up UI. Embark on a learning journey like never before with my Swift UI mentoring sessions, where you have the freedom to ask me anything about Swift UI development. These personalized sessions are designed to provide a dynamic and interactive learning experience, allowing developers to bring their questions, challenges, and projects to the table. Let's collaborate, troubleshoot, and explore SwiftUI together, ensuring that every question finds its answer and every roadblock transforms into a stepping stone forward your mastering of SwiftUI. Join me in these mentoring sessions. The link is down in the description. So uh, let's create a new Xcode project right over here. Uh, create a new, let me just move uh, this over here. And then uh, let's click on next over here and chat and GPT in Xcode. There we go. Let's click on next over here. Let's drop it right over there. And uh, maybe let's just remove the canvas for now. Now, what we want to set up is key bindings. So let's go Xcode and settings. And uh, let me just move out over here, select key bindings. And if you just uh, search for copilot, you can just set up all of your key bindings right over here. But we are not interested in setting up those. We are interested in chat. So uh, let's just set that up. Uh, let's just go scroll all the way up. Set in my whole suggestion features. Okay. Uh, if you want to set up GitHub Copilot, you want to follow all of these. Codium, here is setting up the chat feature. Okay, so in the host tab, navigate to the service chat model. Okay, let's go to the host tab and service and uh, chat models. There we go. Uh, what you want to do next is update the open API model or create a new one if necessary. Use the test button to verify the model. So let's do that. We already have this and uh, this is just fine. We are going to use it, double click on it. And what you want to do is set up your API key. Now, uh, it will just say no API key right over here. Let's just create it ourselves. So let's grab it and uh, let's just uh, go to openai.com in the menu. Let's just select login and uh, you want to select API. Of course, if you are doing this for the first time, then just please sign up. And then you want to select API keys right over here. Of course, I have created uh, one for this one, uh, for the demo that I have created for Copilot. Again, the link for that video is uh, right up over here. We want to create a new secret key. So let's just have this like, uh, let's just name this Xcode. Create the secret key and let's just copy it out. Let's go back to our copilot for Xcode and let's click on this key right over here and let's uh, click on plus and uh, let's just name this Xcode and then paste the key right over there and let's save it. Uh, we can close this now and let's select that API key. Okay, now what we want to do is test this out. Uh, if everything works okay, it will say, hi there, how can I assist you today? Otherwise, it will just throw some sort of an error with some description of what's going uh, wrong. So let's click on save right over here and uh, let's double check if all the steps are met. Uh, met. Let's see. Optionally set up the service. Yes, go to feature chat and update the chat embedding feature provider with the one just updated and you just created. So feature and chat, uh, feature, uh, and uh, let's go to the chat and uh, let's see uh, the default one. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, and embedding model, the default one is just fine. So now we should be able to use the chat feature. So uh, let's go to Xcode and uh, you will see this dot uh, it's sometimes it's right over here. Sometimes it's on the uh, trailing part of Xcode. What you want to do is just click on it and uh, you are going to create a new chat. Now you can uh, double click on it, like you create uh, uh, custom commands, uh, explain selection. It's really, really uh, versatile. Now, uh, once you clicked on it, you can just create a new chat. And here we have some uh, uh, specifications, what you can add in there, 
feel free to read uh, 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 them through. So now let's ask ChatGPT some stuff. Let's see. Um, let's just see if it can give us something. Could you just please provide the code? Yes, indeed. Let's just have uh, that and let's paste it right over there. Yeah, it uh, just sets at the background color of an alignment. Okay, so it's just spitting out what uh, it thinks we can improve upon. And I really like that it has uh, comments added to it. That's, again, a good improvement on code. Uh, there you have it. This is how you can add Chad GPT into your Xcode projects, not just any old browser, Xcode projects. And if you want to know how you can add uh, Copilot into your Xcode project, go ahead and check out the previous video. It's right over here.